Hi everyone, welcome to my lesson today. I'm Emmanuel from Majesties. Um, uh, today I'm going to do a song, uh, a tutorial of a Swahili song, a, a Swahili worship song, Nasema Asante. Okay? Ewe Mungu Wangu. I'm doing it uh, in the key of F sharp because that's a common key for most of you. Okay? And I uh, just want to help you that if you are, if you want a course that can help you learn much more in the key of F sharp, I've done a two hour, 45 minutes course. I go into details of, of praise and worship chords, passing chords, you know, advanced chords and techniques in the key of F sharp. Okay, for you, the beginner in the key of F sharp. And there's also an advanced three hour course in the key of F sharp. So if you're interested in learning F sharp more, please just leave me a comment or send me a WhatsApp message or, or send me an email. Then I'll direct you on how you can get the full the full course in the key of F sharp. But for today, I'm going to play the song Tosema Asante. Ewe Mungu Wangu. Nasema Definitely, you, you first have to know the F sharp major scale. Step number one, okay? F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, F, F sharp. Okay, that's the scale. And the, you must also know the numbers, the chord scale, okay? The number system, the chord scale. What are the eight chords on this scale? Chord number one is F sharp major seven. Chord number two, G sharp major G sharp minor seventh. Okay. The third chord is A sharp minor seventh. The fourth chord is B major seventh. Chord number five, C sharp dominant seventh. Chord number six, D sharp minor seventh. Chord number seven, F minor seventh flat five. So what will that be? F minor seventh flat five. F G sharp B and D sharp. Then back to one, F sharp major seven. Okay, I've gone into much of these details in the full F sharp course. So if you are interested to go deeper in the number system, you need to get that F sharp course, right? <clears throat> so I'll start breaking this down. Um, <laughs> so I start with chord number one, F sharp major. And then I'll move to a 5 over 7, which will be C sharp over F on the left. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm really trying to break this down that even a beginning person can get it. So, bear with me if you are a little bit more advanced. Okay. Now, sema So, I start with 1, F sharp major. Okay. Then... 5 over 7, 5 is C sharp over F on the left, which is 7. Asante. And then I go to chord number 6, which is D sharp minor 7. Okay, so the left I have D sharp, and on the right I have an inversion of D sharp minor 7. That is D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. So now say my Asante. Then the next part. Nasema Asante. I play two G sharp minor. On the left hand I have G sharp. The right hand I have G sharp minor. 
D sharp, G sharp, and B. Asante. And then I play this B major seventh chord. So the left I have B and F sharp, and on the right I play D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. So it's just B major seventh, okay? So if I played it here, that's B major seventh. And now the left hand is playing the B and F sharp, so the right hand is only playing these notes. A sort of a D sharp minor. So I have B and F sharp, and then C sharp 5, okay? The left I have C sharp and G sharp. And the right I have C sharp, D sharp, F, and G sharp, okay? Now Sema, And then the next part. So I play one over three, which is F sharp major, over three, which is A sharp on the left. And then I'm adding an F sharp also on the left. So that's the chord I have. One over three, that means F sharp is chord number one. A sharp is three. Asante. Then to four, B major seven. Away. Back to chord number two, G sharp minor. Okay. So the left I have G sharp, D sharp, and G sharp. The right I have B, D sharp, and G sharp. Away, Mungu. And then one over five, F sharp over C sharp. And then five. C sharp dominant seventh chord number five. Okay, so I'm playing an inversion of C sharp dominant seventh. The original C sharp dominant seventh is C sharp F G sharp and B. So I'm playing G sharp B C sharp and F. Then of course back to F sharp major. Okay. So the full thing. Now sema Let's add some chords, huh? some passing chords, okay? Now, Sema. Okay, do you see that? So I'm, I'm moving from 6, which is D sharp minor 7, to 2, which is G sharp minor or G sharp minor 7, whatever you want to play. So follow the colored notes so that you can see the exact notes that I'm playing clearly, okay? So that's G sharp minor seventh, right? So it will save me the time of explaining all the notes. So I'm moving from six to two, D sharp minor seventh to G sharp minor seventh, okay? So I'm using this passing chord. I'm using a D sharp dominant seventh chord, okay? So this is D sharp G and A sharp gives me D sharp major. If I want D sharp dominant seventh chord, I add the C sharp. Okay? But now I'm adding it at the bottom. And on the left, I have G. So that's a passing chord you can use anytime when you're going to, the, to your two, which is G sharp minor seventh. Okay? So now Sema Now, uh, another thing that I can do. That's a little bit out. Eh? 
So just a little bit jazzy, okay? So what I'm playing is Nasema And then on the right I'm playing this kind of a D6 chord. D F sharp and B. And on the on, that's on the right, and on the left I'm playing A sharp. And then when I move to the six on the left, instead of playing D sharp minor seven, I'm playing this kind of a C sharp <laughs> major chord, okay? So now say my asante. Okay, C sharp, F, G sharp, and C sharp. See, I'm just giving you options. Huh? Always just learn how to make your so your chords sound different. Okay. Now say my asante. Now say my our passing chord again. Our D sharp dominant seventh to our G sharp minor seventh. Asante. Nasema asante. That D6. And then you see in this case, I'm not even playing the, the B major 7. I'm just playing an F sharp on the right. With that B and F sharp on the left. For my B major 7. Sante. Instead of playing that C sharp dominant seventh at the end, I'm playing a B diminished seventh. B, D, F, and G sharp. So that's a substitution you can use. One. Okay. Now say my. If you want to learn more in the key of F sharp, get the full two hour 45 minute course. If you want to get it, just check the uh, in the comments and the description below. I'll put links to my website where you can go on and look at the content. Uh, you can also send me an email, majestyshouseofmusic at gmail.com or send me a message on WhatsApp, plus 254-713-689907. I'll put all the numbers below this video. You can order that full F sharp course if you want to go deeper into this key. So I hope that lesson helps somebody. Uh, keep on practicing. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. Uh, more lessons will be coming soon. God bless you and see you in the next class.